Hello dear learners, in this lecture I am going to deal uh, another law of chemical combination. Okay, the law of gaseous volume or law of combining volume which is given by Gay Lussac. The this law states that if temperature and pressure is taking constant, then the gases always combine in a simple fixed ratio by their value. Means it is it is the same law as we we have already uh, uh, learned uh, as uh, as the law of uh, definite proportion, uh, which is also called law of definite proportion by mass. But this law is actually the law of a definite proportion by volume means here you have to uh, you have to keep in mind that you have to take temperature and pressure as constant. This is the uh, uh, necessary condition for this. For this uh, this law, you have to take temperature constant and pressure constant. But in the first law, the law of definite proportion by mass, uh, it is not necessary. Uh, that you, you you can have normal temperature at normal temperature or at any temperature pressure but the mass is always conserved but in this case gases combine in a simple ratio only when their temperature and pressure is keeping constant so here i am giving you an example that if hydrogen gas and chlorine gas when react to each other uh, in a favorable condition then it gives uh, it, it produce uh, hcl hydrochloric acid uh, in now the the main point is uh, is here considered is that that every species must be in gaseous form because this is law of gaseous volume or law of combining volume that means you have to consider all these all these uh, what all this constituent and product or reactant and product in gaseous form it is a necessary condition uh, if I react sodium and chlorine, then then sodium must be in the gaseous form, not in the solid form or liquid form. So, the the law th this law is valid <coughs> when when we take all these species in gaseous form. So you have to you have to here uh, you have to uh, see the the ratio is one is one by because if you if you can balance here one volume one volume plus two volume this ratio between the reactant species are one is to one is one, is one all right three now uh, i give you another example so that you can uh, <coughs> understand the practical meaning of it so if you take hydrogen and oxygen in your lab and take hydrogen uh, 100 ml and oxygen 50 ml then then you you will find find that uh, the water is produced uh, uh, with volume 100 ml it is it is sure that you 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 must have found in the laboratory that you have gotten 100 ml water it is the law of nature so in this way if you if you take the ratio of hydrogen and oxygen without uh, knowing the balancing of equation uh, just you estimate the 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 volume of these species by 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 the experimental methods in your laboratory then you will find that this ratio becomes a whole number ratio that is here 100 ml is to 50 ml becomes 2 is 1 which is simple but this law is given by gay lussac but it is not uh, fully expl explained by gay lussac it is fully explained by Avogadro in 1811. And Avogadro also give a new kind of uh, law uh, which is called Hy Avogadro hypothesis or Avogadro law. So here there is the another law of combination, chemical combination, which is given by Avogadro. It is very important that if you take temperature and pressure constant and it is the necessary condition that temperature must be 273 kelvin and pressure was must be 180 
means you have to take uh, take the species at stp stp means a standard stp stp means a standard temperature and pressure standard temperature and pressure is a standard temperature is 273 kelvin and a standard pressure is uh, uh, 1 atm or 6 760 mm of hg or 760 drop have you got my so this what what this law state is that each volume of all the gases each volume of all the gases have equal number here you must uh, here consider that it is not given for atom we don't have to count atoms but we have to count molecules at stb if if volume is big then 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 the all gases have equal number of have you got Amogadro made distinction, be, distinction between atoms and molecules. Here you can see here, he, he, he said that molecules are different than atoms. We cannot mention atoms for molecules, molecules for atoms. They are different. So he mentioned in his law that each volume of gases, uh, the particular volume of gases uh, count equal number of molecules. Uh, doesn't mean equal number of atoms. For example, if <coughs> At, at the particular volume hydrogen gas molecules uh, count n molecules but uh, an, an ns3 uh, gas count n molecules uh, according to this law but here you can see uh, atoms in the hydrogen gas is 2 n atoms but the atoms in the in the ammonia gas is uh, our 3 is 1 4 4 n atoms so it is have you got my so this is a this is the necessary point you have to understand it that a, the avogadro said that the number of molecule is same for each volume of the gas whether you take hydrogen gas whether you take oxygen gas sodium gas or any kind of vapor you take but the volume uh, a, a, the number of very uh, important law he also considered the same kind of atoms can combine with each other. Even Dalton and others doesn't believe uh, 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 on that. That same kind of atoms uh, uh, can can produce uh, can combine to produce uh, a new kind of molecule. Uh, they they believe that same kind of thing cannot cannot combine. But Avogadro have shown that they they can combine, and we already know that. O2, H2, N2, these kind of molecules can be must be formed from the atoms uh, like o, o oxygen is O2 molecule is by oxygen atoms and N2 molecule is by uh, 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 nitrogen atoms and so on. So, Avogadro was the uh, very important scientist in, in, in the history of uh, chemistry. So, <clears throat> when in the uh, when the general conference on weight and measure are held in 1971 uh, then then they adopted a new kind of unit which is called mole uh, as si unit of substance then they proposed that uh, how how much volume you have to count for a stand so they proposed that you have to take 22.4 liter of any gas at stp and then the number of molecules are are, are, are our standard number of uh, number of substance have you got me? so in the general conference of on weight and measure all the scientists have discussed about it and 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 <coughs> proposed that you have to take 22.4 liter at stp of any gas or any uh, any matter in gaseous form then we have to count the molecules and uh, number of molecules and we got it and then it a uh, call it one mole have you got my what is one mole uh, you have understood or not they call they 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 propose that because because uh, substance uh, are made up of very tiny tiny particles so we cannot count easily have you got my point so in chemistry uh, dealing with numbers of uh, of atoms are very very lengthy or very <clears throat> very hard so we must have to take an standard 
by which we 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 count some units. For example, uh, we have to take a unit that let's say uh, there is a there is one unit. One unit possess five molecules. Then then eighteen unit possess uh, ninety molecules. In this way, we can uh, we can count the numbers for our uh, study to be easy. Have you got? Me? So they proposed that in 1971 that we have to take a SI unit uh, of amount of substance which is we call mole. Mole means actually mole means uh, uh, means heap or bundle or or pile of something uh, which is Greek word. So they say you know that every substance is made of a, a, a many 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 uh, uh, atoms or molecules. So we can. We can say in common language that they are heap of or bundles of, uh, of molecules or atoms. So they call that uh, that this uh, uh, a unit of amount of substance we call mole, M O L E mole, and we abbreviate it, it as M O L mole. And by the Avogadro law, uh, they they already had proposed a, 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 <coughs> uh, uh, which which state that each volume of all the gases contain equal number of molecules. At STP, so they 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 propose that you have to take 20 22.4 liter for all the cases uh, as a standard. So we call that at 22.4 liter, all the cases have equal number, and they calculate that 20 at 22.4 liter, we call that the number of molecules is 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 a unit we call mole. So number of one mole of uh, any gas. Is is equivalent to 22.4 liter of uh, of of substance in gas. Have you got? This is also they they call molar volume. About these things we will study in detail, but here I have discussed all the laws of of combining uh, chemical of law of chem chemical combination. So I hope that you have understood all the laws uh, and you have care about their condition and and what they <coughs> what they 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 have practical meaning about it. So now I am discussing about Dalton's atomic theory. Dalton's atomic theory. Uh, uh, we we have already uh, I have told you that all the metals con all the substance consist of uh, tiny particles, which is called and the Dalton's uh, uh, when <coughs> Dalton's uh, every morning Dalton's collect the data of, uh, of weather. So when when a rainy season, uh, he observed that uh, 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 that the rains are fall on the ground, and an idea was struck in his mind that every particle is top some tiny uh, individual particles. So they proposed a <coughs> proposed a theory uh, on the basis of this idea so uh, they, they all the all these things all the idea are uh, they they propose which we publish in a paper called a new system of chemical philosophy in this in this philosophy they they propose that they propose that matter is made up of individual particles which you call we have already uh, known about it or next is it is easier for you and next is all the atoms of a given element is identical so <clears throat> so if you take sodium sodium has sodium atoms all the sodium atoms have same property same mass same shape and size so every property uh, of all the atoms of a, the same element is identical this uh, and atoms of different elements are different so uh, and if if you take sodium atom, if you take aluminium atom, the 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 behavior of properties of aluminium atom is different than the, the properties of sodium element uh, atoms. This uh, this hypothesis say about. But here I am writing here this is false <coughs> because sometimes uh, uh, the property of some element, uh, some some atoms may be same in, with some respect. For example, if I take isotons. Or isoelectronic, or 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 isotopes. We can see in the isotopes. I give you example that uh, <coughs> uh, calcium 
and argon has same mass number which is called isobars and uh, isotope like like uh, same atomic number but different mass number for example carbon 612 and carbon 613 carbon 614 which have same uh, which, which have same property with respect to number of electrons and protons but this uh, but this hypothesis said that that the, the all the atoms of different elements are different uh, in all the but here you can see that uh, in the respect of uh, of number of electrons and the number of protons isotope have you got my point so this is all uh, about it and and the next hypothesis is chemical re reaction in, involves rearrangement of atom cannot be destroyed or cannot be created this is very important thing that <clears throat> that in a chemical reaction you cannot create a new new thing a uh, new new atom or or, or uh, or you cannot destroy an atom uh, because when a hydrogen water a hydrogen and oxygen combine it gets water water seems to be a different than hydrogen and oxygen so uh, a mind can think that uh, that water is a, a somewhat new kind of substance than hydrogen and oxygen and they they, they they become happy that I have created a new kind of substance but but <clears throat> in deep if you experiment on it and it, uh, you think deeply that no nothing in this universe you can create uh, as uh, uh, you can create new matter uh, just rearrange it in a in a new way and that's why the property of these things become different than than, than earlier so hydrogen and oxygen arrange in the in the, in the different manner so that so that the the, the property of these become different so water becomes liquid and hydrogen and oxygen becomes uh, uh, remain in gaseous form so <clears throat> So we cannot create matter and we can create destroy it but we can rearrange it in a new way that you can uh, you can have new, new kind of substance so <clears throat> this is uh, the the third hypothesis of dalton atomy theory now uh, <clears throat> but here here is the is the new point i have got that uh, in the modern times uh, we know that uh, we know that uh, matter can be destroyed or can be created maybe also because einstein relative theory showed that even a small amount of uh, amount of substance can 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 produce large amount of energy so by energy we can create matter and by 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 matter we we can destroy it and uh, we create energy in this way we can can say that mass can be destroyed and can be converted to energy and energy can be destroyed and converted to uh, into mass so in this way it is wrong but uh, but uh, overall it is it is it is right now <clears throat> now the next thing is uh, a, a fourth and last hypothesis of dalton is compound are compounds are formed uh, compounds are formed when atoms of different elements combine in a fixed ratio uh, we have already uh, take, uh, uh, studied about this that when a compounds are formed uh, the atoms of different elements combine in a simple hell ratio but some sometimes it may be not a simple ratio for example if i say uh, fe uh, 0.980 oh, this is also a compound which is called non stoichiometric compound which have no simple ratio which is ratio of ferrous and oxygen here is 0.98 is to 1 which is which is uh, not a simple ratio. so this is uh, this is also sometimes false but overall it is it is, not, it is so uh, dalton uh, uh, dalton uh, uh, take all the all the uh, discoveries uh, before that uh, or or during during his lifetime and and proposed a new new a new system of philosophy in which uh, he proposed a, uh, four hypotheses four main hypotheses i have here uh, written here and i have 